Hi guys, in this session we are going to learn about if conditional statement and firstly what is the purpose of if conditional statement in SAS. It is used for filter the data got it. It is used for filter the data. For explain if conditional statement we take an example from SAS help dot class. For this, I will write a code data demo set sas help dot class. Okay, we write a run and we run this code. We get one data set with our name demo. Okay, here we have a one class data set. Here we have a name, sex, age, height, and weight. Now, if you want to filter that sex, male and female, I need only male student from this class data set. Okay, in this situation, we use if conditional statement, then how it will be? Okay, for that, I write a code. Filter in one variable. Okay, we take name data set with a demo one. And a set demo is a science help dot class already we created. And uh, if sex equals to M, what is the meaning of it? I need only male student from that class data set for this. I mentioned if sex equals to M and, and run the code. Got it? Before opening the data set. Check lag at once. Okay, demo one is created with the observation. Ten observations. Now we open demo one. Look at here. What is the difference between demo and demo one? Demo here we have a male M and F, and in demo one we have only male students. Got it? Like this, so we write a filter, we apply filter condition in one data set. For example, if you want to apply more filter conditions in one if statement, okay, for that, set demo, I named a new data set with a demo to and a six equals to M. And here, if you want to apply more filters in more than one variable, we use and okay here if sex equals to m and age equals to 12 what does it mean i need age 12 students with only in middle okay now i run it the, i run this code new data set created before opening it open the lag demo 2 is created with the three observation and five variables i open demo 2 got it here h m 6 m and age only well got it what is the difference here this is the first demo 1 this is the main class main data class here we have a sex m and age 14 13 12 like this and what we applied one filter condition that is sex equals to m and now we apply two filter conditions that is sex equals to m and age equals to 12 now like this uh, we can write a one more than two more than two filter conditions in one if statement then how it will be and the same by using and only okay add it for this uh, more than one variable and here i named the data set with the demo key set demo is a class as a dot class okay here these are the two filter conditions already we did sex equals to m and age equals to 12 and i apply one more filter condition that is height greater than 50 got it now I run this code. Okay, before going to the data set, check the log at once. Demo 3 is created. Now I open demo 3. 
got it here we have only height greater than 50 only okay the, uh, look at once uh, this is the main class first i apply one filter condition x equals to m and the next i apply two filter condition that x equals to m and h equals to 2 and now i apply three filter condition x equals to m h equals to 2 and height should be greater than 50 and uh, these all are write in one if conditional statement by using and okay now if you are right uh, by the if conditional statement we can create a new variable also in this up till now we are not creating any new variable here we just apply in existing variables now we are going to create a new variable for this I uh, write a code create a new variable and I named the data set with the demo four and a set demo and here if a equals to 12 and for creating a new variable we using then if a equals to 12 then category equals to m got it if what is the meaning of it if a equals to 12 if in case of a equals to 12 and then create a new variable called category and in that n should be mentioned got it if what is the meaning of it if a equals to 12 then category equals to m okay now i write run this code okay before opening open the lock as yes, a uh, created demo 4 and i open the demo 4 got it so what you observe here if a equals to 12 here a equals to 12 then category equals to n only at a equals to 12 got it like this we can create a new variable by using then okay now we can apply that filter condition for that creating a new variable also got it then how it will be apply filter on new variable and i named the demo 4k say demo 4 and if category equals to n got it i just mentioned if category equals to n already i created a category variable by based on h12 now i separate that category equals to a data in demo 4a now i run this code okay and the log is clear now i open demo 4a look at here and age should be 12 and we are not mentioned any sex condition here that's why we have a f also f m and what we applied only category equals to n like this we filter the data by using if conditional okay now to write a multiple if statement till now we are only write if condition if only one statement now we can write multiple if statement we using else got it and for this we are using data set cars from the SAS help okay and I take a check with the data set name and from SAS help dot class I run this code okay check data set is created and I open check data set here is the check data set now observe here what is the make and model okay cost models and the types and origin and drive train like this so we have one cars data set it is exist in SAS help okay now we take cylinder variable here got it now what we mention here simply okay we just write a multiple conditions 
set check if cylinders equals to 4 then sale i created a new new variable sale equals to buy okay i mentioned else here till now if cylinder equals to 4 then sale equals to buy enough if in case if not equals to 4 if cylinders not equals to 4 then sales equals to don't buy got it like this we write more than if condition by using else multiple if statements okay and you got it in this if cylinders equals to 4 then sale equals to buy else what does it mean else if it is not if it is not equals to 4 if not then then equals to do not buy no need to write if again just to mention else is enough okay we run this data set of named check one okay data set is created check one okay look at here sale is our new variable and when it is 4 when it is 4 it buy and when it is 6 do not buy and when it is 8 also there here do not buy got it like this we can create a new variable and at same time with the more than if statements ok now we can write give one more condition in it we can write one more condition here what then how it will be to write a multiple if conditions okay and we named the data check to i mentioned a length because it's a targeting and if cylinders equals to four then sale equals to buy got it when cylinders are 4 then sale equals to buy and else now i mentioned if else if cylinders equals to 6 then sale equals to do not buy got it uh, now again one more filter condition if cylinders equals to 8 then sale equals to buy got it like this we can write multiple if statements on data set got it we write a multiple if statement by using else if okay and we run this data set and we created check to here observe here when it is 6 what we mentioned do not buy when it is 4 it's buy and uh, when it is 8 it's hold like this uh, we create a variable and uh, we apply multiple if statements got it now we can delete some particular observations in a one variable by using if statement got it then how it will be we can delete uh, some observations from particular variable also by using delete option by using delete okay now we write the code for that to delete some observations and i name the data set name with the check tree okay set check if cylinders equals to 6 then delete got it what does it mean in cylinders variable 6 observations whatever in 6 the total columns should be deleted by using this code ok and we run this and uh, one more condition if origin equals to europe we have a one other variable origin equals to europe then delete no need to write uh, two separate filter delete options in more than one data set it is enough for writing more than one delete options in one data set okay now we run what we delete here if cylinders equals to 6 then it will be delete and if origin equals to euro then it will be 
delete from that data set and here we only delete the observations we are not delete the variables here keep it mind and uh, we open check 3 okay here in cylinder there is no 6 here got it in cylinder there is no 6 and in origin also there is no euro why because we are deleting okay like this so we can delete uh, observations from particular variable in more than two variables also in one data set okay and here without uh, write a delete we can also delete some observations by using not equal symbol okay got it other ways to delete observation i named the data set name with a check for here set check if cylinders not equals to 6 here is the symbol not equals to okay this is the symbol of not and equals to 6 logically logically here what we give cylinders not equals to 6 it means of what we get the data of except that got it like this we are deleting that particular observations from a variable okay look at here in a check for I named a check for and I run it and check the log check for okay here in the cylinders there is no 6 here think about it logically we are not mentioned here in delete but if not equals to 6 means of what we get only accept that if you mentioned equals to 6 we get only 6 cylinders equals to 6 but here we mentioned not equals to it means of what except that we want to display okay we have another symbol also of not equals to cap okay here this is also meaning of not equals to 6 got it like this uh, we run a code we check the log log is clear we open check 5 is the data set here also we are not getting cylinders equals to 6 okay these are some important repeated purpose of if conditional statement okay example take any data set and create your own examples like uh, age equals to you need only separate that age equals to 14 or uh, age equals to 11 like that make your own examples it is cause to understand very easily thank you please subscribe my channel click the bell icon like the video and comment below share with your friends thank you support me